Hi everybody, this is Titi Readings and hi Taurus. Let's see what messages will show up for you. Taurus, in case this reading resonates, there will be a link in the description box to the reading about your person. How are they thinking, feeling about you, their next moves, outcome advice, love notes, and bonus messages. I'm also going to be giving you your guided message towards the end of the reading, okay? There could be something new going on with you, and I see a lot of thought being put into the situation, whatever it is that's going on with you. Looks like a new idea, a new venture, a new, a new situation that I see you focused on, okay? Too many cards, but the Eight of Wands wanted to show up. All right, let's see. Tell me about the Hermit. The devil. Um, Taurus, it almost looks like you are attracted towards something that you also consider uh, toxic for yourself, okay? Um, I see a lot of focus on communication for you. There could also be something coming up in regards to, I don't know, some sort of confession. Oh my God, some of you may be dealing with a Gemini. There's a lot of that Gemini energy here. Um, for some of you, there this could conversation could be with a family member or like somebody very close to you, okay? There is a lot of focus on learning and communication for you. Some of some of you may have learned something recently. There could be a news coming your way. Let me tell you that. Um, the thing about this news is that it's kind of like it's giving you this sense of I need to change something and it's really like um, encouraging growth and expansion for you, okay? What happened in the past with the Devil Hermit and the Ace of Wands, it almost looks like there's something that you are very tempted towards, tempted to do, but you know you may be also considering the fact that it is toxic or can be toxic okay we will see what that is show me more high priestess trusting your intuition You're letting go of something in the past, um, Taurus. It almost looks like you're not even letting go. It just looks like you're freeing yourself from this energy, whatever that might be. And again, with the Seven of Swords, there's an energy of... Hmm. Now, one thing I see here is that some of you could be... I'm going to get to what energy I was talking about, but I do see that some of you are working on a money-related project. Maybe you're expanding on something, you're working towards something, and you're keeping that idea to yourself. Some of you could be researching about something, okay? With the Devil High Priestess energy, it's like you are becoming aware of something. Um, I would have to see what that is. Show me the devil and the high priestess. What's the devil about? Show me the devil first. What is the devil? Ah, uh, hermit, strength, and the justice card. Libra, Leo, and Virgo energy. Capricorn, Pisces, two, Scorpio. These are intense energies, actually. That's why I went quiet. There is a karmic relationship or there is something here of that sort. Uh, this relationship, this connection has transformed you. Okay, it has 
made you acknowledge a lot of things about yourself as well okay it has made you look into things better okay understand things better there is a toxic pattern here or a sense of like feeling confined to something and then there is that awareness that okay this isn't good for me and you're holding yourself back from it because why it feels like the right thing to do and whatever it is whether that be toxic nice bad whatever this is something that was meant to be and this is something that was put in your path to teach you a lesson probably which is where that energy comes in that you know nothing is a coincidence nothing okay high priestess to the six of pentacles what's that Nine of Swords, Two of Wands, and the Empress. Mm. I like it. I feel like you have been in this energy where you were stressed out about something, but as your reading is progressing, I can tell that you're becoming aware and you're choosing growth you're choosing expansion you're also choosing yourself okay you're trying to have a more balanced approach towards something um taurus because i feel like some of you may have um you know you may have had problems with addiction in the past or something like that there is a lot of healing here and a desire to move towards a new direction also a lot of awareness some of you may be meditating or you may be reading books of that sort or you could be into tarot astrology something like that okay uh, what's the death and the fool card ten of swords and the moon mm. there's something incredibly tough here to deal with uh emotionally mentally physically very burdening but the more you dwell on it, the more it takes you in energetically. The full card letting go. Yeah, the star encouraging healing. It's like for a lot of you, I'm also seeing Taurus that maybe your work is related to the internet. If that is so, I do see you getting a lot of recognition in your work. And if that is not the case, then this is just a lot of healing taking place for you. A lot of you are also, you know, it's like when we wish for things to happen or we have dreams that we want to achieve. And this energy is like, okay, I'm going to work towards my dreams. I'm going to make things happen for myself. Um, this is that energy. Seven of Swords to the Ace of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. There could be communication coming in from somebody. It almost looks like somebody may want to make peace with you or may want to make amends, okay? But this is somebody you're trying to walk away from. I also feel like, um, Taurus, a lot of you are hustling and you're, you're moving towards something. Like, I don't know, you're trying to achieve a goal or perhaps work towards something, okay? Show me more for Taurus. Three of Wands, Six of Swords, and the Chariot. So for some of you, I'm also seeing traveling, uh, a sense of transition, okay? You're, it's like out with the old, in with the new kind of an energy. What is the challenge and advice for um, Taurus? Challenge, Page of Wands, Advice, Tower. Ooh, you're having a hard time opening up to something. Um, another thing I'm going to tell you is that when we're starting something, don't expect perfectionism from, from yourself in that situation too. It's like, especially when you're starting something, let it build. Okay. Um, 
I feel like tower at times is also a call for action, okay? So you may be uh, guided to take action towards something, okay? What's the Four of Swords? Four of Swords encourages healing. So maybe, yeah, the star. Okay, Spirit is also guiding you towards your healing. Some of you need to take a break. You need to take rest because your energy maybe was all over the place, okay? There is a lot of healing in this reading and a sense of like... Um, paying attention, being aware and you hustling towards something, um, trying to manifest something for yourself. Give me a card for who's coming towards Taurus though. Who's coming towards Taurus? King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and the Page of Pentacles. I feel like you're manifesting a divine counterpart. Maybe that is the reason why you're being encouraged to heal yourself, work on yourself, and the right person will show up. It does look like this is somebody new. Um, let's see. Whoever is coming towards you, they're viewing you as your as their divine counterpart, okay? Uh, it's time to release negativity. Absolutely. It's time to release things from the past that no longer serve you. That's where the devil energy comes in. The death and the ten of swords as well, talking about an ending. Mm -hmm. And prosperity lies ahead, which is you. New cycle begins where there is a sense of prosperity. There's also a sense of belonging, okay? Show me what's there for Taurus, please. Show me what's there for Taurus, please. Breakup, separation, addiction, and see, I said that at the beginning of your reading that some of you may have a codependent, um, you know, um, problems with codependency or addiction. I see you healing from that, okay? Uh, I also see that it was really hard for you to walk away from a person in your life, but that relationship was toxic. Things are changing in your life, hang in there, absolutely. Uh, and then we have X, breakup, separation. You're, you're parting ways from something toxic here, okay? What is the guided message for Taurus, please? What is the guided message for Taurus? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, we have happiness and service. I feel good when I can help others. Nice. So giving out that energy. Uh, happiness, I'm aware that being happy means I'm on the right path, prioritizing your happiness. What makes you happy? Sometimes we're going in circles chasing our own happiness when it's right there in front of us in the little things that we ignore. Okay, that's it, uh, Taurus. Those were the messages that showed up for you. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and check out the reading about your person linked in the description box if you are interested. Take care and bye-bye.